Um, through brainstorming with my friends and family, I formed a idea for a TV show from scratch, including themes and storylines that I found fascinating, including Australian politics, conspiracy, mystery, and time travel. From there, I created a fake client called Binge Productions, which its aim was to bring high quality TV that has a viewership that you normally associate with the US to Australia, which I think we all need. In a brief, I outlined that I wanted the design to not only reflect the nature of the TV show that I was creating, but also have a eye-catching design that would, you know, bring in attention. Catching design that would, you know, bring in attention. The final the final presentations that I chose would a DVD format because not only would it show my design but also integrate information about the TV show. Um, in addition to that, I would have a, my second presentation would be billboards, posters, and social media campaigns to promote the premiere of the TV show. Through research into media production agencies, I formed an understanding of the value and aesthetic, how the formation of a distinctive symbol for a show aids in brand recognition, audience affection, and forming a visually pleasing product that pops out on retail shelves. I also delved into the importance of engagement with an audience during premiere, especially in an age where TV show fandom culture is the basis for dedicated audience membership. I found that social media engagement is a big part in forming the community and fandoms, which helped me formulate an understanding for my promotional material. I conducted primary research to form an understanding for my audience's preferences by sending a survey to friends asking them questions such as what elements of my show interests you and what kind of TV show advertising engages you to want to watch a show. The answers to which helped establish my focus on mystery, captivating imagery, and social media posts slash posters. In formulating the research for my design, I focused on the visual identity of shows that inspired me understanding the different ways in which text and imagery are used to form a brand for the show that relays its themes. To gain an in-depth understanding of the decision-making process and forming a visual identity, I performed a case study on Stranger Things, exploring how their attention to interrelated elements of Stephen King and 80s imagery drove their design choices for the final logo, even interviewing a fan of the show to inquire whether these intentions were communicated to her through the logo. To understand how DVD covers extend imagery throughout the packaging, important element of my research that guided my folio the most was my mood board, as it was essential for me to visualize the aesthetic for the TV show and help me concretize what I wanted to communicate through the design and the storyline that accompanied it. Research into presentation two involved investigating different promotional formats, used the possibility of merchandising and designers who had a unique style of promotion such as Saul Bass. The generation of ideas stage was fundamental in me depicting the imagery I could explore in my design concepts that relate to the themes of overtime in a creative way. The brainstorm enables me to express all the ideas I had about the TV show on paper to begin grounding my thoughts into tangible design concepts for both presentations. Five elements stood out to me after the completion of my design brainstorm. Imagery of four silhouettes, walking, space, ominous figure, camera, skyline, and newspaper. I felt as these translated the idea of a journey through time, the fear of a dystopian future, and the manipulation of the media that were at the root of my TV show concept. These five elements were the basis of my exploration of designs, which was further developed through design thinking strategies such as Scamper. One des once deciding on my final three concepts, I created the design in a digital format using Illustrator and Photoshop, and continued developing my ideas that I formed on these programs to immediately create an online version after I formulated a visualization drawing. At the end of the development process, I narrowed my 80 ideas down to one by sending out a daunting survey to my audience. Deciding on a final design, as well as a format for the DVD based on usual conventions for this presentation, enabled me to complete my design for the DVD case. I applied the design throughout the back, sides, inside, and discs, as well as adding the episode descriptions, season descriptions, and special features which I made for the show along the way.
I repeated essentially the same process in choosing the final design for my promotional concept as well, using Photoshop to translate my visualizations to a digital concept and conducting a survey to pick my final design. The second presentation was heavily focused on the photography of my desired cast, as I thought connection to the characters would enhance the emotional connection to the show. I integrated design trend that inspired me, a double exposure effect to form various designs that blended backgrounds with photography and type. I ended up selecting the design that related most to presentation one, which is that the integrated newspaper, applying that to the format outlined in my folio to complete presentation two.